And I will also tell you, which is really nice, the XP you got and if it was, you defeated them. And it also tell you when you level up your... Oh, 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 no way! Charmander just evolved! We're going this door though, see what's in here. Ooh. Oh, this is a gym? This is Brock's gym, isn't it? This is cool, okay. Oh, crap, Onyx. I know that Pokemon. That Pokemon is huge, man. That's like, twice, just the part right there is twice the size that I am. You betcha, I'm George, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing Pokemon VR. Now, I just stumbled across this game on SideQuest. It's just released a couple days ago, but this is a must-have for all the Pokemon lovers. And, I mean, it's honestly just a cool game to actually have. Here, you can see there's Nurse Joy, you can heal your Pokemon. I can get, oh my god, I just got a Pokeball here. I'll show you guys my actually Pokemon. I've actually played this game a decent amount. Or, more than I thought I would. It grabbed me a little bit, but she got this Pokemon I just caught not too long ago. A Lapras! Isn't, that's actually pretty cool, isn't it? That I, ca I caught this guy. Does he actually battle in this game? Here's another guy. Yeah, he actually battle in this game. Yeah, and it's actually multiplayer too. So you can battle with players if you have friends. It's really cool, honestly. So in this video anyways, guys, I'm just gonna show you around what this game, VR game is like. So in case you want to get it, and also give you guys some tips and tricks if you do get this game, if you want to progress faster, avoid some pitfalls that I fell into, basically. Anyways, I'll show you guys my menu here. Uh, take out Charmander. So you get to choose a starter Pokemon as you do in Pokemon. I chose Charmander. And you start in this like little village, you can go in the, this shop here to heal your Pokemon and stuff. But right in the starting area, you can go around and there's like, you can battle Pokemon. <laughs> Wants to trade with me. Let me see if we can trade. He's just got a Squirtle. <laughs> okay, anyways, in this, uh, third area. So I, I think what happened, like you see these Pokemon out here, I think that they like glitched out of the map so then there's only like one Pokemon that actually spawns as normal area that you can defeat easily because they look get to level Pokemon. Because you go in this next area and uh, they're harder Pokemon and it's really hard to defeat them. I, I finally beat a few then when I came back here and realized that there's actually Pokemon you can fight here. Anyways, I didn't catch this a Lapras. Uh, in this area. I'll show you guys some of my other Pokemon I have so far. It's pretty cool. You, you learn different uh, attacks. I'll, I'll show you guys some fighting too. Anyways, that's what you want to do if, if you get because you get to choose some Squirtle, Bulbasaur, or uh, Charmander. And you definitely want to stay in this area to level up your Pokemon before you go to the next area. Anyways, let me show you some of my other Pokemon. Um, Glaceon is kind of cool. I'll show you him. There he is. Is it going, girl? They all have unique attacks and whatnot. Whether I haven't I showed you any of them. There's him. So the guy, they're kind of glitching through the floor in this first area. So uh, I think I have two more to show you guys before we show you guys some fighting. And it's cool because you, you can catch the book. I've caught all these ones besides Charmander. It was uh, given to me for my starter Pokemon at least. But like I said, this game is like, I must, like this is just like a side quest. It's not an official game. If you don't know what a side quest is, it's basically a, a side application that you can hook up to your quest and download other games that aren't on the official Oculus store. So let's go and battle some Pokemon. And yeah, since this is just a, like it's a side quest game, not an official game, you can only imagine what, Person stuck, anyways. What the an actual Pokemon will game would be like in the future? That would just be so cool. Uh, let's use a uh, who's my weakest guy? Actually, let's use Charmander. I'll show you. I'll wreck a couple of people. Show you. There's also like these guys. I already beat this guy, but they're you walk in front of them and, and they have the checkpoint, you know, and you have to battle them. Come on, Charmander. You can't name them. I don't think that'd be more. I don't know why they're all clipping through the floor like that. Charmander, use Ember! You see, you got the battle log over here on your right, and then your menu, and you can actually move around the fight. Like, I can, I can just stand right 
playing this guy and Ember again. <laughs> and you're also on here, just so you know, it tells you what happened if you missed or what they exactly use. And it will also tell you, which is really nice, the XP you got and if it was, you defeated them. And it also tell you when you level up your, oh, 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 no way. Charmander just evolved too? Uh, what's that one called? I actually don't remember. Let me check for you guys. <laughs> actually, I need to check for myself too. Charmander, Charmeleon. Hell yeah. Get this bad boy out here, that's dope. Next to him. Hey, that's the wrong one. Where the hell is Charmeleon at? Um, oh, I sent it to my PC box. Let me go grab him quick. And now we have arrived in Viridian City. Oh, it's really cool. They, they have like eight different places you can go, like arenas, they even have like a league. Like this game is actually, there's a lot in here. It is kind of hard to get anywhere. I would say, especially like, like I was saying right away, it's hard to level up your Pokemon, but once you figure it out, it's actually lots of fun. Now, after I was done, I thought I was going to come back and play some more. Look at this guy. Charmeleon, yeah. You're just a stone cold killer, aren't you? Let's go uh, try to catch a Pokemon. I think there's some Pokemon in this area. Let's see what. Shrink, Shink? What's the thing called? Shinx? Charmeleon, use Ember! Okay, we need something a little bit weaker so we don't kill it completely. So we can try to catch this one for you guys to see. How did I keep that? Oh, I wasn't looking at the log. I must have got him. Killed him. So there's a seal. Char yeah, use Ember again. <laughs> use Metal Claw. And you can run away and switch Pokemon. I've learned that, uh, just so you know, this is a tip too. If if your Pokemon's defeated, you'll be kicked out of the battle. So you need to switch Pokemon by selecting its first before they die. Otherwise, uh, you'll be lose the battle. And I've, I've learned that like, these other ones, like the, the confused ones and stuff like that, are really the best. But uh, anything that does like less. Okay, now we gotta switch C before he dies. I'm actually kind of pretty lucky that he didn't die. Uh, he's in a, what's level 12? I need something high. So. Oops, I picked the wrong one. That's okay. Let's see if the bio that I'm done and pound. Okay, I don't know if I can pound him again, see if he didn't die. Oh, sorry, I killed him. Um, uh, so we got water Pokemon over here. I'm not sure if you want to comment below how to fight those guys. I don't know how to fight them yet. See if we can get you to big way yet. Hmm. Charmeleon, you're way too weak. We're gonna go with Cacne. Use Poison Sting. Ooh, he's doing a lot of damage to you. See, the levels are like the biggest thing. Like. If something's just a few levels higher, like it's gonna have so much higher advantage. Strike Glaceon. It's really nice. I only, I only had Charmeleon or Charmander. I, I kept getting beat so bad trying to go against other Pokemon. And I, like, I'm, I'm not joking. This game is honestly a lot of fun. Like, what's once? Oh, I defeated him, and I learned a new skill. See, like you learn new skills here. Can't learn more than four, so I need to be one. I see this plan on target. It steals some HP from the target every turn. That's a good one. Now, I don't know what all of these other ones are. I wish I could look what the other ones are. E okay, Captain e wants to learn one. Sand is hurled, reducing the inner accuracy. Um, yeah, I'll keep it. Keep the ones I have. Okay, let's get Charmeleon and try uh, there's one I've got so many Pokemon now that I, don't, I haven't looked at all the skills. I want to try to catch one for you guys. I, I don't want to risk, you know, throwing Pokeballs at low health, because Pokeballs are expensive, 200. You have to be winning lots of battles, and I wasn't winning any of the beginnings, so I wasn't getting any Pokemon money. Now I'm getting a lot, but let's see if we can catch something for you guys to see. Ooh, let's go to the sheet thing. I don't know what it's called. Mareep. 
Use Ember. Charmeleon is paralyzed. Paralyzed, no. Okay, scratch him. I'm kill him. They miss? Oh. Charmeleon is paralyzed again. Oh, I defeated him again. What the heck? He had a lot of health left. Okay, uh, let's try this. What's this guy called? Uh, Khalifa. Use Ember. How much health did that take away? Did I miss? Oh, he's paralyzed again. Everybody keeps paralyzing uh, Charmeleon. Okay, so we're just gonna try throw a Pokeball right here. And just a tip, if you can't get the Pokeball to work, Click this arrow before you throw it. And you can just literally walk out so you don't miss him either. Which is kind of nice. They almost always escape from the Pokeballs. Oh, no, there we got him. We got Gleefla. And there you guys go. There's catching a Pokemon in Pokemon VR. I mean, it could be better, but it's pretty dang cool. Nonetheless, just do this in VR. It's kind of like Pokemon Go, but a thousand times better. I mean, you're in the real world. And you're not necessarily moving anywhere, but you're standing up, so that's exercise while you're inside, right? It sure is. Anyways, um, there's not a whole lot else to show you. I guess I can show you a trainer battle, or I can try battle somebody else. As of right now, I'm not too far, like I said. I'll see, so here's one of the, another, yeah, you've already seen that. Is there a cool Pokemon in battle? Let's keep going. Let's go to Pewter City. I'm trying to find something cool for you guys. This thing's pretty cool. Okay, I'm mini T-Rex. I'm gonna go in this store though, see what's in here. Ooh. Oh, this is this a gym? This is Brock's gym, isn't it? This is cool, okay. See? Yeah. I'm actually, this is my first gym I've been to, so this is cool. Oh gee, your dude, he's way too weak for my... Oh, Charmeleon, oh, I can't even go to that side now, I have to stay back here. Use my claw! Oh, that, that killed him, wow, that's powerful. Okay, he's got sand true out. Use metal claw! Use ember, Charmeleon! Wait, my turn, I'll try to stay straight forward for you guys. Now finish him with scratch! Good job, Charmeleon. You grew to level 17. Okay, what is this? It's a shockwave of pure rage. The attack always inflicts 40 HP damage. That one's a good one. I think we do that one rather than my one that makes him maybe miss. Brock, I challenge you to a Pokey Dude, <laughs> a Pokemon duel. I haven't seen Pokemon forever, so don't know what the proper. Wordage, verbiage maybe, but... My attack is not very effective. That's you, that's, uh, pull... Okay, so apparently since I am in actual trainer battle, I can pull out other, uh, Pokemon right now. Excuse, I don't even know what this one's called again. Adi Adino. It's supposed to be... I don't really remember this Pokemon. This might be a newer one. But that doesn't matter. Oh, still defeat Geo, dude. Don't really know what these attacks do. Like, it'd be nice if they'd show you, like, what the attacks do, because otherwise you just kind of read up with them. You know, like, beforehand. I don't really know about that Pokemon, anyways. Anyways, I know this one better. Poison Sting! What am I doing this one? <laughs> oh, Leech Seed is that one where it drains health, so that'd be. Let me try this one. Jeez, that was a powerful attack. Do another Poison Sting. Not very effective. Oh. Brock's taking out all my powerful Pokemon. What's strong against? Oh, dang it, Charmeleon's out. Black this, I guess. Water gun. Oh crap, Onyx. I know that Pokemon. That Pokemon is huge, man. That's like twice, just the part right there is twice the size that I am. Oh, I am not gonna beat Onyx, I can already tell you that much. Use Water Gun! Oh, you did it, Lapras! 
dope. The lab is I, I beat the gym. I took Brock's gym, you guys. That is actually pretty cool. Like, I, I honestly had fun. Like, I, I want to go to the other gyms now and beat the other gyms. Like, no joke, this game is a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to call her there for this video. That was pretty cool. I didn't know that was a gym. I wanted to take, tame this guy, but I saw a gym there. Oh yeah, he's way too powerful. I'm just gonna run away, see, you can run. Other way, I mean, he's gonna defeat me anyway, so there's no point in staying, I've learned. So, yeah, I was, like these two stores, I'll tell you too, they might change later, but they're both the same right now. I wouldn't, no, there wasn't a gym at the other place. Hmm. Interesting. And you only can store six Pokemon at once, it looks like. I don't really remember exactly from the show, but that's what it looks like here. So I'll probably get rid of my lowest Pokemon. But I'll leave that to you guys to find out more on your own. I actually had a lot of fun. I'll probably be playing more on my own, but yeah, that, that's Pokemon VR. And I definitely recommend to go check it out if you have a Quest headset. Just download SideQuest. There's a couple videos out there if you want to do it right now. And... That's all for me. I've been George. Peace out.